how do you honestly assess what's happening in your heart and how do you move more towards a life that is free, that is liberated? So question wrote down here, how do you shrink the greedy dragon? There is a greedy dragon inside of all of us that wants to grow. And the Proverbs speaks quite, the Proverbs speak quite a bit about how do you deal with that greedy dragon. Um, Proverbs eleven twenty four says this, give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and, and lose everything. Now stop for a second and, and look at this word wealth because this is not just a, a financial idea. This is, this is a, a richness of your relationships. This is a satisfaction with your life. This is fulfillment with your career. This is, this is peace when you put your head down on the pillow at night. That the, the longer you, you live with greed and stinginess, the more that it starts to rob you of the kind of life that God has created you to live. But Proverbs says that when you release, when there, when, when there is the willingness to let go, there's a freedom and there is more richness that you experience in your life. He says the generous will prosper. And ultimately those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. Maybe you've, you've had a day in your life where at the end of your day, you're, you're exhausted and you feel so incredibly depleted and you feel like you have nothing left to give to other people. Sometimes there are seasons of our lives like this where emotionally and financially we have nothing left to give. But what Jesus teaches and what the the scriptures show us all throughout is that there's a kind of person that God is trying to form you to become. And the kind of person that God wants you to become is a person who is generous the way that God is generous. That when you, you go into an environment, you're the kind of person that's not there to take, you're there to give. When you, when you sit down on a project at work, you're there to contribute, not to consume. See, so many of us, part of the reason why we're, we're so emotionally broken is because we, we have this, this hat of consumption, this materialism that we, we're constantly seeing so much media in front of our eyes, so much advertising that is speaking to that part of you that if, if you have more, you'll be satisfied. If you don't have, you shouldn't be happy. But really there is a kind of life biblically that flips that on its head, that flows from the heart of God, that one of the most defining characteristics of the nature of God is his generosity, that God loves to give, that at his core he is constantly giving, investing, loving, pouring out so that humanity can be blessed. So people who experience the joy that God has, they step towards that 